I'm glad you're here for a story today. I have another one from Julia Donaldson, who you know is one of my favorites. This one is called The Hospital Dog. Do you remember that I read another book by Julia Donaldson about a dog that had to do with the library? This is about a different dog that's visiting some kids in the hospital. I think if I were in the hospital, I would also really like to have a dog visit. Sarah Ogilvie did the pictures. I mean, look, look at that dog and look at those kids, they're so happy. Here we are, the end pages have Dot. She's kind of blending into the yellow, carrying her, I think that's her harness. And on the title page, there she is looking out a window at a bird. This book is from Macmillan Children's Books. And it starts like this. Here is a dog, a Dalmatian, called Dot. Is she quite ordinary? No, she's not. Here's Dot's owner, a lady called Rose, with rings on her fingers and specks on her nose. Specks is another word for spectacles, which is another word for glasses. Here she is petting Dot. Look at the way Dot is looking at her owner and the way the, way the lady is looking at Dot. So sweet. They're so happy to be together. After their breakfast of porridge and tea, Rose and her dog always swim in the sea. And then they hop onto bus number 78 and the bus drops them off at the hospital gate. Hmm. I think this is something they do all the time. This sounds like their regular routine. Wow, there's a lot happening in this hospital room. Let's look at this side first. Here are the children in Wallaby Ward. Most of them happy, but some of them bored. And see their faces. Someone's jumping on the bed. Someone's just lying down. There's someone who doesn't have any hair. Sometimes when someone has a certain kind of sickness, their hair can fall out. I think the nurse is taking some notes. Over here it says, a girl's feeling shy and a baby is howling a toddler's cross and a teenager's scowling. Cross means grumpy. And a scowl is when you have an angry look on your face. A visitor's jumping about like a frog. But look who's arrived. Let's look here. There's the one that's howling. And over here you can see the one who's scowling. Who do you think has arrived? I think you know. It's the hospital dog. Oh, there she is. And she's wearing a special harness around her so that when they're walking through the hospital, everybody knows that she has a special job. Look how the hospital walls have little kangaroos painted on them and rainbows, that's very cute. Trying to make it look friendly in there. B is feeling nervous. Today's her first day. She wonders how long she'll be going to stay. There's a tear in her eye and an ache in her head. Can you see the bandages on her? We don't know what happened. Let's find out. Maybe they'll tell us. But look who's appeared on the chair near her bed. A pat and a stroke and a cuddle with Dot. Is B feeling scared still? No, she's not. Oh, 
before she was worrying about herself and feeling nervous about what was going to happen next, but now she's thinking about this dog. What a good distraction. And Gus, who's older than all of the others, would rather be out playing ball with his brothers. He's read all his books and he's tired of TV. Oh, you can see he's been watching TV. It's on in the background and he's got a book in his lap, but really he's looking out the window at his friends playing. He can't play with that cast on his leg. But here is a dog he's delighted to see. A pat and a stroke and a cuddle with Dot. Is Gus feeling bored still? No, he's not. Oh, I would definitely be feeling better if I were in the hospital and suddenly a dog showed up. Let's find out what's gonna happen over here. Here's baby Katie, she's hot. And what's more, she's covered in spots and her tummy is sore. It seems that she'll never stop crying. Boo hoo. Mommy's trying to make her feel better, but she's really, really sick. She has spots. <sighs> Till Dot lifts a paw to say, how do you do? <laughs> a pat and a stroke and a cuddle with Dot. Is Katie still crying? No, she's not. That's a part of the book that happens over and over. A pat and a stroke and a cuddle with Dot. Who is Dot going to help next? Dot gets a hat and makes friends with a bear. She plays with a ball and she rides in a chair. They're all having so much fun. She calms down a doctor. She cheers up a mummy. She lets little Tyler play Tickle Dot's tummy. A lot of dogs like their tummy rubbed. Even doctors start feeling worried sometimes in the hospital. And so Dot comes over to the doctor and then the doctor forgets about his worries too. And that mommy is probably worried about her child and she can forget about that for a few minutes while she's looking at Dot. I don't know why this little girl's in a wheelchair. Sometimes people are in a wheelchair because they hurt themselves and sometimes people are in a wheelchair for their whole lives because their legs don't work so well. Their legs might not be strong enough for walking. They don't really tell us what's wrong with the people in the hospital. Oh, look at this picture. Hey, is that the kid from the cover of the book? Hmm. Here is a boy who is deaf. He's called Joe. Rose makes her dog make the sign for hello. So Rose is helping Dot do some sign language with her paw because deaf means that his ears don't work very well and he has a hard time hearing. Maybe he can't hear anything, or maybe he can only hear a tiny bit. And so sometimes if you can't hear, you might not be able to talk very well. So they're gonna talk with their hands. It's a language called sign language. It was another book that I talked about that. Joe's going home now. His cough is much better. His mom packs his toothbrush and Dot packs his sweater. Dot's trying to help. Dot's going home too. The ward round is done. She's sorry to leave, but the lift ride is fun. Can you tell that there are some unusual words in this book because it's from England? So there they call the elevator a lift. Rose is helping Dot push the button. <laughs> Off to the bus stop go five pairs of feet, and then Joe sees a friend and steps into the street. <gasps> oh no. Here comes a car, 
but he can't hear it come. Oh no, Rose isn't watching. And not is Joe's mom. So everybody is looking at this baby who went by and Joe is walking out in the street and he can't hear the car coming. Because remember, he's deaf. What is going to happen? Someone is watching Joe. Hmm. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? <laughs> Some pinches are eating pizza in the street. Dot rushes out and she pushes Joe back, but the car hits her leg with a sudden loud smack. <gasps> Oh no, so she saved Joe, but now the car bumped her. Oh no. <gasps> Look. Everyone is taking care of Dot now. Look, she's in the street. She's okay. She's still alive. But now everyone is gathering around and everyone has such a worried look on their face. Look at everybody's face. Super worried. That lady saying, <gasps> So concerned about Dot, even the driver of the car. I think that's who's in the background with their face red. They didn't mean to hit anybody with their car. Joe and Dot were in the middle of the street. Well, a trip to the vet and an x-ray ray for Dot. They're going to take a picture of her bones. Is Dot feeling happy? No, she's not. The vet says, don't worry, it's not a disaster. The leg will be fine after six weeks in plaster. So Dot is gonna have to have a cast. Here she is with her cast on. Six weeks to wait, that's a very long time. Dot has a limp and she can't jump or climb. She's looking at the calendar, thinking about how long six weeks is. Oh, that's interesting. They live near the beach. Can you see the seagull looking in at her? Poor Dot. The, these are all the things she can't do with her cast on. No swimming. No bus rides. Dot's feeling bored. Oh, she can only sit in the house all the time. But here come the children from Wallaby Ward. Joe, B, and Katie, Tyler, and Gus. We're visiting you like you visited us. They're bringing a balloon that says, get well soon. A pat and a stroke and a biscuit for Dot. Is she enjoying it? Yes, a lot. Oh, Dot is getting lots of attention from all her friends. And they're taking care of her just like she took care of them when they weren't feeling well. There's a little box, the dog biscuits. Oh, what a happy ending for that story. Oh, I bet when Dot was started to feel better, she went right back to her job of visiting kids in the hospital. I'm so glad that she was okay. It's so dangerous when anyone goes into the street. Kids, dogs, even grown-ups if they forget to look. I'm so glad you came for story today. I'll see you again on another day. Bye.